It's Jefferson Graham with USA Today in a conference room at Google today with some, some guys here from Google Translate. Now, you no longer have to bring a language dictionary with you everywhere because Google Translate will figure things out for you, as Josh and Anton are about to show us. Um, hi, I'm Josh. I'm a software engineer here at Google. Uh, we're going to, let's say I'm a, uh, uh, traveling to Moscow. I've been transferred there, and I need to look for an apartment. So we're going to give you a little scenario of how that works. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Антон Андреев, я программист в Google. Я говорю по-русски, и сегодня я попробую помочь Джошу найти квартиру в Москве. So how do you begin, Josh? So I'm going to use Google Translate to uh, start by taking the word apartment and just translate it into Russian. My idea is I'm going to try to start searching for information about Russian apartments. Uh, this gives me a nice result where this is the machine translated result, and then this is a multilingual dictionary result, which shows a few different possibilities for how you might uh, say Russian or say apartment in Russian. Okay, so what, what now? Are you going to cut so, and copy and paste one of those? No, nope, so now I'm going to go up here and use the translated search feature, um, which allows me to search for this, this, uh, this query um, on Russian pages. And so the result I get here shows the original Russian pages on the right, um, but then it also automatically translates them into English. So this shows what was originally a Russian web page, but all of the text has been changed into English. And if I hover over some of these, It'll pop up. This little pop up that shows me the original Russian text. Then let's say that uh, you know I saw the email here and I decided I was going to email the uh, proprietor, the owner of this property. So um, we're going to pretend Anton is that uh, that owner. So I'm going over to my email. Um, and I'm going to send Anton. Hi, I'm interested. Okay, so here's the. Uh, the message he sent me, so I don't speak Russian, so I'm going to just copy this out of here. Um, go back to um, my translation, um, back to this interface where I can paste this in. I've got Russian to English, translate that. So he was saying to me, I, I do not speak in English, speak in Russian. Maybe not the best translation, yeah. but it looks like he's asking me that if, uh, if I speak in Russian. So just so I can email him back, I could say in here, hi, no, I don't speak Russian. Um, switch these languages around, so I have English to Russian. Uh, we, we have more languages available now. We, we started off with uh, just the, the major uh, five or six languages. Uh, uh, now we've increased that. And uh, we're, we're doing the search automatically now, so you don't have to ask for the translation. We'll, we'll volunteer them for you. And we're, we keep improving. We keep getting better. Uh, you know, we're not, we're not perfect. Uh, you're not going to always mis uh, tell that this, uh, you know, you'll, you are going to be able to tell that this is not a fluent uh, speaker of your language, but you're going to be able to get the sense of it. These prices in San Francisco are ridiculous, and I found a great place in Russia, so I'm out of here. Pasiba. До свидания. And that means goodbye in Russian. <laughs>